Shout out Baba TV. We are from Black Canada. Power. Canada, right there. Yes. Very appreciative of the love the DC has, the whole DMV area. You know what I mean? I mean, it's just a natural charge up just being here. Saying, Cole, for tell you. You know what I mean? The love is real. You know what I'm saying? We are eagerly anticipating the gathering tomorrow so we could do a lot more networking. You know, the, 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 the groundwork of nation building. You know, the wealth is in the people. Your network is your net worth. And we're seeing that as we meet different people who are bringing a lot to the table, they have a lot to offer. You know. Yeah, and uh, we got a lot to offer too, you know? And that's yeah. the thing, a lot of people that have a lot of things to offer are bringing a lot here. That's the, that's the potential value of what can come out of here, out of this gathering. That being more than just a gathering, you know? An opportunity to network and actually try to build connections, real unity initiatives, study groups, I mean, whatever is necessary to start to really take this to another level, raise the bar on what true unity is, what it should be, and how it's going to benefit us. Having an economic base to it is very important. And in order to have that, there has to be some kind of faith, trust, community connection, you know, identity, common, commonality amongst people in order to have something to initially to unify on, principle. So, you know, we know what the problem is, and a lot of us are good at articulating what the problem is indeed. However, we got to get better at developing and blueprinting plans to bring about some kind of change or resolution. And I'm feeling a vibe here. You know, we can get deep and we can get into high science and all of that. Not all of those are very important, but unity is the principal key to make any of the knowledge and any of the disciplines that we are gaining and empowering ourselves with. A whole new generation of, 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 of people being enlightened and evolving. Well, it's out there. And the thing is, we got to raise the bar and start taking it to a level beyond just ideas of romanticism you know what i mean basically when we come here basically if we come here again 20 years later after the million man march and what we don't start to do is what we the justice or else we should be the else too in that fact because it is up to us to make the transition from being just theoretic and really being principle based and as far as applying all the knowledge you know, the polite was going in in there, you know, talking about Islam, and no matter what God you have, we've been given Islam, Islam hasn't liberated us, the God of Allah, Judaism, paraphrasing, and all these gods, we still have debt, we still have disease, we still have division, so it is something about tapping into us, and our greatest resources, and our gifts, and our talents, and, our, and whatever that we have, the pool, and not just come together, a whole bunch of people, in Washington, D.C., 20 years later, to have a big meeting, you know what I mean? Not just to have um, a gathering. What should come out of that, even if everybody doesn't apply the principle, is some kind of written agenda that we're gonna leave here with collectively as a people. And that we're gonna start to build upon as principles, as foundations. Everybody's not gonna do it, but something, something to raise the bar and have an initiative for real unity so we can utilize our resources and build economic politics. Um, that's why I'm nation, nation, nation first, ideology second. That's why that makes more, so much more sense to me, you know? And this knowledge that we have, we have to make it more relatable to science instead of just looking at it as information that you have. Information is the key, it's the blueprint. But there's a step beyond just having the blueprint, it's actually building, you know? And instead of just building ideologically, we have to start building realistically. You know what I mean? Or this is going to be no different than the Christian church on Sunday. We go there, so to speak. As far as the feel-goodism that is entwined into the emotionalism of just coming here 
and Harambe in the same hoteps and Black Power all day, and we come here and it's just a gathering, and we leave and go home, and there's no kind of written blueprint and agenda that we have. You know what I'm saying? Anything that we come out of here with that we're going to still try to collectively build on a premise of nationhood. Because without that, we can never collectively make all of this knowledge and all of the ideas and all of the powerful facts that we know about ourselves really work in real time. In an ever-growing and an ever-advancing world. So, you know, I hope that the justice or else, part of the else in that is us or an alternative. But all alternatives, because we need more than one. There's no just one alternative. We need alternatives. And I know there's going to be so many creative minds here, so many enlightened minds here, so many militant minds here, so many inquiring minds here, so many different people from different walks of life, different belief systems that are coming here on a good premise. So I really believe it's camaraderie. And that's a start. But I hope we can use this camaraderie, um, a, a lot of us, to start to use the camaraderie as a catalyst to really start to blueprint our survival agenda and our agenda as a people in an ever-growing, evolving, and changing and advancing world. Shout out to Baba TV once again. I'm gonna talk about the tune back in here. We're gonna be going in, we're gonna be doing this all day tomorrow. We just got here. I'm a little tired. Traveling a lot, got in town to New York early in the morning, had to shoot straight from New York, right on the road. Signed at a house of consciousness. Shout out to my man, Red Pill, you know, KTL Radio. Um, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my brothers. We drove down here early, got to DC. I'm loving this place. The love black people are showing us. It's a beautiful thing. My first time here, and I do intend on coming back a lot more. You know what I mean? Because I'm here to network and really blueprint, you know, with brothers. You know, shout out to Uni Team, my study group that we got out there. So that's a Unity Initiative as well as a study group. Young, smart, intelligent, astute, and articulate brothers that I'm rocking with. You know, we're hitting the books hard, we're studying, but we're also thinking about blueprints and stratagems, economics, you know what I mean? So we can start to do that on a small level amongst each other. And really start to do things on the, that's how you start to build unity. You know, so start your study group, wherever you're at, or network with us, you know what I mean? We're going to be building, we're going to be kicking knowledge all day tomorrow, we're going to be learning from each other, you know what I mean? It's going to be, I, I can't wait, it's going to be a beautiful thing, man. So stay tuned, Black Power.